Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the Nearby Nation, welcome back to another exciting setup video on how you set up the Technic Pack, how you download it, how you put it on your computer, how it goes into Minecraft. So let's get started. First, we need to download the file, of course. So let's go to the Technic Pack forum, which I will link in the description, which I linked before, but people asked how to install it. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this out for you guys. Just click the direct link. It'll open up Mediafire, click start. It'll, it says one because, oh really? Oh no, uh, toggle sound. There we go. Hopefully I don't get copyright strike for that. Not my fault. <laughs> Anyways, now it's gonna download. Just wait. It's gonna be a little while. Even though I have fast speed, it's still gonna be a little while. Once it is downloaded, now I'm using Google Chrome, so it lets me go to right here, but if you're downloading anywhere else, like in, with Internet Explorer, just save it to your desktop, which is what I'm going to do when I open it. So you just open it up, then you want to drag these files to your desktop or extract them to your desktop so you can see them. It might take a little while. Three seconds, one second. We can do it. Come on. Two seconds. There we go. All right, they're all on the desktop, all nice and neat. You'll see they're highlighted once you exit out of... WinRAR, as soon as it wants to exit out. Come on. Come on. We could do it. We could do it together. Exit out. Alright, there we go. You got the config, mods, readme, and technical installer. Or technic installer. Now, the config has every single list of mods that's. Does the cost of quitting smoking stop you from trying? You know, what, you know what does? There we go. <laughs> Stupid ads. I hate Mediafire. Anyways, um. Now, if you want to know how what kind of mods are installed, it shows right here. You got the mod loader, mod loader MP, Minecraft Forge, Industrial Craft 2, 1.15, Buildcraft 2, 2, 1, core mods, so add pipes, engines, whatever, red power, pre. Um, you can go ahead and go through that yourself, millionaire or millionaire, uh, mo creatures. So that'll tell you exactly everything that you need. Now, you need to make sure that you can see your Minecraft files because they are hidden. So what you do is you want to go to my computer, go to your local disk, and go to users, go to your name, whichever your name is, and uh, you won't see this app data. What you need to do is click organize, folders and search option, view, show hidden files, folders, and drives. Click apply, and then you will magically see app data. It'll be a grayed out folder because it's hidden. Click app data, click roaming, and here is your Minecraft. Now the best bet to do this is you need, you're going to need a clean install. Now most people say you can go to minecraft.exe, run it, and go to options and force update which does a clean install. But it doesn't completely clean. It doesn't know that you have mods. It doesn't delete everything in that folder and say, okay, we're going to go ahead and reinstall Minecraft. Nothing else in there. So the best bet is to, here's your saves. Throw your saves to your desktop. Okay, they're on your desktop. Now, delete this whole folder. You have your saves, no worries. Now that that folder's deleted, start Minecraft again. It won't know your username, it won't know your password, so you're gonna have to put that in. Did you uh, hear my password from the clicks? I'm pretty sure you didn't. Let it download. Not too long, really short actually. Close it. You don't need it anymore. Not right now, anyways. All right, so it's closed down. Now you want to go back to your desktop to the Technic installer. These are just files you don't mess with. They're actually all the mods and stuff that we'll install. So go to the Technic installer, double click it. It's a Java program. You need Java to run it. You need Java to run Minecraft. Wow. I guess if you want this, you're going to have to have Minecraft. Hmm. Strange enough. Now you want to set target Minecraft folder. You can ignore all this if you don't want to. Read it. Um, now we need to migrate back to where we were. So local disk. Use Oz. There it is. My name, which is Josh, by the way. Hello, everyone. And then uh, app data. Roaming. Minecraft. That's all you got to do. Click on that. Don't double click on it. Just, don't, just click on it. And then click open. And then next. And now here it will tell you everything that you can install. Now if you want everything, which is what I do, you just go up here, full install. It checks everything for you. It will mention everything that's added into it. Better fences, console, convenient inventory, inventory tweaks. 
If you don't want too many items, take it off. If you don't want Tree Capitator, which who wouldn't want it? Come on, uh, take it off. If you don't want single player commands, take it off. It's it's your option, guys. They allow you to take off anything that you want. If you don't want Zeppelin, take it off. Everything's installed. We can go right here to full install. Make sure it's all installed and click next. Now you just sit there and wait. There is no going through the jar file, adding this stuff. This is all automatic. This is making it easy, making it simple for you. Click done. Now we open up our Minecraft. And hopefully it will record easily enough for me. <sighs> you probably heard that. Sorry. I didn't mean to blow in the mic. That's what she said. Ugh. Uh, let's go to single player, create a new world, survival, no, let's go to creative, that way you guys can see the world, I can fly around for a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it, actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and upsize it, hopefully it doesn't lag out on me, da, 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 da. and of course you have single player's command, she got horses right there, uh, press E, I got an achievement, <laughs> you got too many items, if you don't know how to turn that off, press O, it'll turn it off and on, it's really cool because you can go ahead and have your items right there, click save, and then trash, and then, whoa, I did not know that trashed everything. <laughs> okay, no it didn't. That's weird. Anyways, you can tell right there we got horses already, uh, there's the rubber trees over here, we already have a village being built. So yeah guys, whoa, that's tribes. I haven't seen those yet, I guess we'll see them later. Anyways guys, that would be the easiest way for you to install this mod. Again, link in the description, just follow the exact same thing that I did. If you have save files, they will work. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that real quick so I don't get questions asked about that. They will work, but they won't have everything else that you need in them. So go to your computer. I already have it saved right here. Go to roaming, Minecraft, saves, and then just open this up. I got all these saves right here, I can just throw them over. Mm. Let's cancel that. Okay. Got all those saves right there. I just threw them over. Why do I have all those saves? Anyways. <laughs> I don't know why I have all those saves. I totally deleted that folder. And reinstalled it. Oh well. wait for the minecraft to start back up again go to single player and we can go into I don't know survival island and here we are in our survival island perfectly set up just for us and we have all the mods installed as you can tell uh, click right here well you can tell right there we're on an island you can see the map everything is installed so everything works good awesome you can go ahead and paint what you want to paint. Uh, do some clean star of whatever they are. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And that is a simple tutorial on how to set everything up. Hope you guys don't have any questions. It should have been so simple. No problems. But anyways, if you did, leave them in the comment box. I'll link the description for the download. Again, download in description. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.